why do so many naturopaths, chiropractors, uh, functional medicine doctors, and other wellness influencers continue to spread medical misinformation regarding MTHFR gene mutations and the big bad folic acid when it comes to pregnancy? I'm going to break it down for you today. So 50 to 60 percent of Americans have one or two variations in the MTHFR gene. It's not a mutation, it's, genetic, it's a genetic variant. But these accounts use the word mutation because it's a lot scarier. So if someone is seeking a diagnosis for some condition they might have, like recurrent pregnancy loss, postpartum depression, infertility, the chances are if one of these docs or practitioners test that person for an MTHFR gene variant, it's gonna come back positive. And then bam, they found the cause for whatever's ailing them and they're gonna fix it. And just so y'all know, MTHFR gene variants or mutations have been linked to over 600 different disorders. 600, that is biologically implausible. So why do these accounts care? Once you come back positive, then you need to avoid folic acid, the big bag folic acid, and you need to buy some form of methylfolate because your body can't handle folic acid, which is not true. People with MTHFR gene variants can still process folic acid. Their serum folate levels may be 16, up to 60% lower in some individuals, but that's not enough to cause any kind of adverse effect. And then these chiropractors, naturopaths, uh, functional medicine docs are going to have the perfect supplement for you that has methylfolate. And uh, give you another perspective, folic acid is about five bucks per kilo. So you can buy five, folic acid for about five dollars for two pounds worth of folic acid, which is, which is a lot of folate, right? Or you can spend thirteen thousand dollars for wow, a kilo of methylfolate. Of so you tell me which one is better and which one is more effective. So I'm just going to close by saying a few things. Number one, MTHFR gene variants do not lead to any adverse pregnancy outcomes like infertility, recurrent pregnancy loss, pregnancy loss, postpartum depression, none of those things. So if any account is telling you so, they are grifting. Second, all these accounts that are telling you to avoid folic acid and get tested for MTHFR gene variants are causing either a delayed or misdiagnosis for whatever is causing what you're truly experiencing. The reason why they folic acid is preferred or recommended in pregnancy and while trying to conceive is because it's the only form of folate shown and proven in numerous trials, including randomized control trials, to help prevent neural tube defects in the fetus. They do not care about you or your pregnancy.